This is part 73 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to check if JavaScript is enabled or disabled. Let's understand this with an example. Let's say we have a page like this which captures name and gender. Both of these fields are required fields. This page relies on JavaScript being enabled for performing client-side validation. In reality, it's a good practice to always have server-side validation irrespective of whether we have client-side validation or not. For the purpose of this demo, let's assume that we only have client-side validation. First, let's go ahead and design a page that looks like this. In the interest of time, I have already implemented the required HTML. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So here we have the table element where we have set the border to 1 and inside this table we have two TRs and within the first TR we have two TDs. The first TD has got this little text name and within the second TD we have a text box to capture name. Similarly in the second TR we have two TDs, in the first TD we have gender and in the second TD we have a text box to capture gender. And here we have a section for script. Let's go ahead and write a JavaScript function let's name this function validate if empty and to this function let's pass the ID of the control that we want to validate as a parameter let's create a variable let's name it control document dot get element by ID and to this function we pass the control ID that we receive as a parameter if control dot value is equal to an empty string then we know that the user didn't enter any value into that control in that case we want to set the background color of that control to red indicating that it's a required field if it is not empty then we know that the user has entered something into that control in that case we want the background to be white so a very simple JavaScript function to perform validation and we want to call this JavaScript function when on focus event occurs on the control that is whenever the control receives the focus and to this function we need to pass the control ID and the control ID is txt name so we want to call this function also when on blur event occurs similarly when key up event occurs let's do the same thing with the other text box so let's copy all these event names and paste them right here now here we need to change the ID of the control the ID of the control in this case is txt gender so let's copy and paste it so at the moment we have a very simple page with two text boxes and a JavaScript validation uh, function to validate if that text boxes are empty at the moment we have JavaScript enabled look at this as soon as the text box receives focus the validation kicks in and the background color shows red indicating that it's a required field but the moment we start typing look at that the background is changed to white similarly gender male and the moment we delete the last character we again have the validation um, in place so basically this is a working page JavaScript is enabled so everything is working as expected Now let's go ahead and disable JavaScript to disable JavaScript in Google Chrome click on this icon on the top right hand corner and then select settings and on the settings page within this search settings text box type JavaScript and then click on this button content settings and then notice this under this JavaScript section we have a radio button which says do not allow any sites to run JavaScript select that click done to save changes now let's go ahead and reload this page now at the moment we have JavaScript disabled so look at this the validation does not kick in okay because we don't have JavaScript enabled okay now what we want to do is if JavaScript is enabled then we want to display this name and gender elements and the user can continue to use the application 
but if JavaScript is disabled, then we want to hide these elements and display an error message to the user saying, you know, it seems that you have disabled JavaScript. Please enable JavaScript. And the easiest way to detect if JavaScript is enabled or not is by using no script tag. The content inside this no script tag will be displayed only if scripts are not supported by the browser or if the client has disabled JavaScript support. Okay, so let's see how to use this no script element. So let's use no script and let's include an h1 element and the error message that we want is it seems that you have disabled JavaScript please enable JavaScript so let's copy and paste that here so at the moment we have JavaScript disabled so when I reload this page look at that it shows the error message that we expect since we have JavaScript disabled the content that is present inside this no script element is displayed but we also have these elements name and gender we don't want these elements we want to hide the rest of the content on the page okay and the easiest way to do that is by wrapping the rest of the HTML inside you know some other root element something like maybe a div element and then apply a style class to that div element to hide you know that rest of the HTML so let's include a div element here And then inside this no script element, I'm also going to have a style section. Type equals text slash CSS. And then here, let's create a class. Let's name this root div class. And then we are going to have just one style here. Display colon none. And then let's apply this style class to this div element. Class equals root div class. Okay, so if JavaScript is disabled, then this content you know, will be used. So this root div class will be used. And here we are saying display colon none. So it will hide all the HTML that's present inside that div element. Okay, so let's save these changes. Let's reload this page. Look at that. The HTML table disappears and then we only have the error message. Now let's go ahead and enable JavaScript back. So let's go to the settings page. Search for JavaScript. And then click on this content settings button. Allow all sites to run JavaScript. Click done. Let's reload this page. Look at that, you know, now just the HTML table is shown and then the JavaScript validation is working as expected. Let's quickly test this in IE. So let's fire up Internet Explorer. At the moment, we already have JavaScript enabled in IE. So let's navigate. Actually, let's browse this page with Internet Explorer. Let's set that as the default. Let's run this. And look at that, JavaScript validation is working. Now let's go ahead and disable JavaScript. Click Internet Options and under Security, click on Custom Level. And then scroll all the way to the bottom and then you should see Scripting. And then select the Disable under Active Scripting. Click Yes, click OK. Let's reload the page. Look at that. Now we get a message saying, it seems that you have disabled JavaScript. Please enable JavaScript. So this is working with both the browsers, IE and Google Chrome. And here is the code that we have just discussed. Thank you for listening and have a great day.